need is me and I do just what I like If I want it, I can get it and I put that on ice Why she acting different, try to throw it to the side She used to be so funny, now she up y'all i am back again with another video hi to my youtube family um i need to come up with a name for y'all if, if y'all got any ideas leave it in the comments because i'm drawing a blank but what's up y'all back again of course i'm desert if you didn't already know and i'm gonna just go ahead and get into it so for the first time like ever i have all of the colorways of the ugg funket chopped so it's the chopped version of the Funkettes, pretty much the same shoe. There are some slight differences um, and then an obvious difference, which is just like the version of the shoe, I guess. If you guys saw the chopped um, little release or what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Y'all know what I'm trying to say, collection. If y'all saw the chopped collection, you know what it looks like. Um, I'll give like a little rundown over here, but um, maybe like last week sometime or two weeks ago, they came out with a Funkette. So if you guys don't know what the Funkette is, it's a very popular shoe. It was sold out at one point. I can't get my hands on a gray pair. Um, so I only have the original chestnut and black. And I will be doing a comparison side by side. Cause like I said, I have all three colorways of the chop. So it's chestnut and taffy pink, gray and lime green or charcoal and lime green, should I say, and black and white. Um, and I'll do a comparison with the black and the chestnut with the original one. But yeah, the original ones were sold out. Um, so if you guys like that shoe and you're okay with like there being like the Ugg signature on the top, or even if you're okay with the heart because they still have the black Valentine Funkettes in stock, get your hands on some. I swear they're the cutest shoe ever, probably my favorite shoe ever. And even though I already have, um, basically the shoe in black and chestnut i'm still keeping the chopped version um you'll see why i'm keeping the chestnut chopped version um after the black one i just like the style of the shoe so regardless i'm keeping it but you guys are gonna see the slight differences between the chopped version and the original version and yeah um but okay I, like i said i have all three colorways i'll go ahead and show you guys the chestnut ones first um yeah, so Funkette Chopped in Chestnut and Taffy Pink, size 8, of course. You know, Ugg always gets us with their packaging. Um, and here we go. Oh, this one's just sliding right off. Look at that. My life just got real easy. I'm looking for somewhere to put this box. But here we go. Here is the Chestnut with the Taffy Pink. I'm obsessed. I will be honest, I don't care for the whole chop thing. Like if it had just said Ugg straight across, I would have been cool with it. Um, that's why I never showed you guys anything from the chop collection. They just got me with this because the style of this shoe, I love it. Literally, I wear them all year round, winter, spring, summer, fall, all year round. I love it, it makes me feel tall. It makes me feel like, I don't know, I can't really explain it. And I love wearing them with like bell bottom pants or like bell bottom sweatpants, whatever. Anyway, like I was trying to say, so this is the chestnut and taffy pink. And the first thing that I'm gonna note about the chopped version, hey Jojo, yeah, that's her. She's probably gonna knock something over. But the first thing that I'm gonna note about the, yep, told y'all, <laughs> sorry. The first thing I'm, that I'm gonna note about the chopped version of this shoe, and this goes for, um, each color that I have, this part is furrier and softer than the original, okay? Um, the second thing that I'm gonna note specifically about this one is if you guys look at the original chestnut, the fur is different. And I don't mean fluffy or different, I mean color different as well. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can kind of see that this version is fluffier than this one. But it's a different type of fur so this fur is actually almost like a chestnut color whereas this fur is white so it's a big reason why i went ahead and got these ones or these ones is because there are differences so it's not really the same shoe but it's the same style um as for the platform let me see if i can it's the same pretty much i don't know if you guys can see any type of difference but size wise the platform is the same and you can kind of just see that the shoe is pretty much built the same. These ones are just a little fuzzier. And in this case, the color is different um, than the original. I wish I had the gray ones to show you too, but 
uh, the gray original should I say so yeah again this is a size 8 I will be trying these on for you guys um this is real fur so this shoe has real fur on it just so y'all know um and yeah let me see which one y'all want next black gray black gray I'm gonna just pick a box I don't even know which one it is gray <laughs> um again size 8 funk at chop charcoal and I think like key lime or something like that here's the box and here's the shoe like I said I don't have the gray one to compare it to but again even just looking at this versus an original black or chestnut it's fuzzier so I got these ones because I didn't get my hands on the gray ones so if you guys couldn't get your hands on the gray ones and you don't mind a little pop of color um do it like for real <laughs> platform is the same we got our key lime up chopped the back is green i mean y'all can see that yeah literally my favorite style shoe i mean there's only so much that i can show you guys and again with this one made from real fur i'm just giving y'all the whole 360 one thing that I don't like, and you guys probably just saw it on the camera. What is that? Like quality wise, why is that peeking through? Mm. Uh, come on y'all, do better. <laughs> All right, so I can't really show you much else with that one, but we'll get into this black one and then I'll show you the original black. And yeah, so black, chestnut, size eight again. Why did I say chestnut? I meant to say Funkette, size eight again. Uh, after I do these videos, especially when I have like multiple things, my this room is always a mess. Okay, so here we go. I just really love the style of shoe, you guys. I mean, you're probably not crazy like me, so you're probably like, girl, why you keep showing the same shoe over and over again? But yeah. And then here's the original. I'm gonna show y'all the platform size. I feel like if there was a difference, it would be like a defect. See, this one kind of looks a little taller. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. They look like the same, pretty much. Oh, you can see that. Well, from this angle, at least, it's like that on the old ones, too. I never even noticed that with these. Mm. But again, you guys can tell that it's fluffier. And I don't wear these that much. So just an FYI, when it comes to black suede, it doesn't really, it fades, it turns white. So just be careful with that. Keep that in mind when you buy shoes that have black suede on it. But yeah, here y'all go. I mean, really the only difference is the chopped. And um, yeah, actually I tried these on already and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. They feel different. I don't know if the gray ones and the, the chestnut ones are the same, but um, they feel different than the original. So I will try them one and I'll try and explain to you what I mean by feel different as best as I can. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, the original Funkette is actually in stock. Um, I'm sorry. She's in heat. And Y'all tell me why my phone just died mid video and I was about to have a whole panic attack if the video that I, the part that I just recorded did not save, but it did, God bless. So anyway, um, you can find the pink chestnut and black Funkette in stock online. You can look on Dillard's, Ugg, um, probably Nordstrom's too, I'm not sure, but I know for a fact the Rock Rose, I think, the black and the chestnut are in stock on Dillard's website, all three of them. I don't have the pink ones because I don't need a pink shoe. Like, straight up, I don't wear pink that much, nor do I really care for the color pink. Um, the second thing that I was gonna note was the black. You need to get down, like for real. You got ashes all over you. Y'all, she's in heat and she's going through it, so sorry. But um, anyway, the chestnut and the black Funkette match the UGG Tough R bags perfectly, whereas that new chestnut one, this color, 
does not match the Telfar Ugg. This is so soft compared to the original, like, all jokes aside. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that that's all I wanted to say is the thing about Telfar bags and then the thing about them being on stock on Dillard's. Um, you guys, make sure you sign up for Ugg Rewards. If you shop at Ugg as much as me, even as close as much, even if you don't even shop on there that much, um, make sure you sign up for the loyalty thing. You'll get free express shipping once you cert hit a certain amount of things. That's what I do. And you'll also get a $20 loyalty thing, like coupon, I think for every $250 that you spend. I know it doesn't really seem like much, but if you're shopping there often, it is much. Like, it, it is. It helps. I'd be so happy when I get my little $20 coupons. But, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and try these on for you guys. And, yeah, that's it. So here's a top view of um, the original Funkette and the chopped one. The only reason I have them both on is so I can kind of try and explain to you the difference in how they feel. Um, they look like a whole stain right there. No. Okay. Um, these ones like are harder on my heel, so the back of my foot. Whereas these ones are not as bad. I don't really remember how they were when I first got them, so I can't really give you that. But, um... It's possible that these just feel more comfortable because they're more worn in. But, yeah, here's the top view, at least, of, you know, the two shoes. Just so you guys can see. And then I'm going to put on the other chopped one, and I'll give you a side view. So, here is, like, the side view. Or this is the front view, but here's the side view of the shoe. Um... So you guys can get an idea. Top view again. You know. <laughs> yeah. Not so much. I mean, there's only so much I can show. But y'all get the point. They're comfortable like the original ones, but the heel of my foot feels like it's stepping on something a little harder. Um, But like I said, it could just be because the original ones are worn in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, black ones on. So here's the top view of the black ones. Um, I might exchange these out for the black Valentine ones because I really just don't care for this chop thing. I just like the style of the shoe and the colorways of the other two. So I'm definitely keeping the other two, but these might get exchanged. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the side view. Here y'all go. Literally the same as the chestnut. I'm like out of breath. I'm too fat for this. Changing shoes and doing this and doing that. But so here's the top view of the charcoal. Charcoal. Because that's definitely just gray. Um and key lime green chopped up. These ones feel a lot more snug than the chestnut and the black ones. Just just an FYI. But there you go. These are definitely staying. I'm obsessed. I wish I could have got my hands on the regular gray funkettes. So here we go. Last but not least, not least at all, I think my least favorite are the um, black ones. There you go. Yeah, they feel more snug. Like, these don't fit as loose. In fact, I almost felt like my foot was closer to the edge. Y'all tell me from what y'all seen in the other try ones if my foot looks close to the edge. But there you go. Love the color. I mean, I don't really own anything green. So I'd very much wear these with a basic solid color outfit and just the pop of color, you know? Probably do that with the pink ones too. But that's it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the shoes as much as I do. If you don't, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know why you don't like them, why the style is not for you, if the style is for you. Whatever you got to say, just leave me a comment, drop a comment. Um, that was all three colorways of the Chopped Funkette or Funkette Chopped. I don't know which way it's put, you know, on the box or whatever. But um, again, size 8, retail... 120 I think yeah $120 was retail 
price. Um, I'm trying to figure out what else I can mention for you guys. Afterpay, of course, I always mention that. Yeah, like literally, that's all I gotta say about them. Like I said, I love the shoe. Um, the original is definitely quality wise a lot better than this one, which is nothing new with UGG. I mean, the quality of their shoes has kind of gone down over the years, at least in my experience, especially when it comes to the boots. The boots now are not as good as the boots for when I was like in high school, so like 2014 not at all and i think i'm seeing that trend with their shoes they'll have an original version come out and then when they do remakes or a little twist of it um it's just not the quality is not as good the regular funkette is super comfortable both shoes are very warm um easy to walk in you know there's there's no difference with that because it's the same height but it just like the my soul my heel feels a little bit harder on the chopped version and it could be because I've been wearing my original Funkettes for a while and these ones are brand new, but who knows. Anyway, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're new here, like I said earlier, I'm Desiree. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some information out of it. And I think that's it. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on TikTok. Um, I post other content on those sites and... You guys should go follow me. And if you have any questions, you're better off DMing me than commenting on the YouTube video. Like DMing me personally. Um, and if you came from YouTube and you follow me, send me a message. Let me know where you came from and I will follow you right back. So, yeah. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for the hundredth time. And I will see y'all next time. Peace out.